had to get the fuck out of the house today, man. I swear to God, I think like everybody's cycles have lined up this week and everybody's PMSing at the same time. Oh, man, is it annoying. Everybody in my house is just like being shitty to each other for like no reason and shit. And it's just, dude, had to come out for a ride, clear my head. It just, it gets so annoying when like everybody in the house is just like being shitty to each other for no reason. Like, I don't know what the fuck happened. I have no idea. Like, cycles either lined up or like we're all just like up to here with each other or something dude time to get a new living situation something man fucky fucky fucks that fucking happens i think that just happens sometimes where just people are just like yep i'm done with you get the fuck out of the house i just i can't i don't like you anymore go away especially when you live with somebody else and it's like when you live with somebody else and it's just like man like you get out of each other's nerves eventually Ugh. for some reason like some reason today we've been like just kind of shitty with each other though for the last like four days you know, today she decided to like stay home from you know whatever obligations she had and like i don't know guys i mean everything today went from like oh let's just go out and like ride motorcycles all day long to being like you know doing we stuff instead of me stuff and i don't know maybe i'm just a dick today i don't i don't know i'm just annoyed and i wanted to get out and ride all day and I didn't get able to get out to be riding all day until 6.30 at night. Uh, finally out here. Ugh. It's nice and it's like perfect out. I want to find somewhere to go and relax and go drink a monster. That's what I want to do right now. I want to go relax somewhere, hang out for a second and drink a monster in semi-privacy and just be left the fuck alone. Like when I'm annoyed with something, I just want to be left the fuck alone. This is nice sometimes, guys. Just no destination, nothing. I think I'm going to go up to the lake, though, and go putt around up there. I've been meaning to bring the WR to the lake and do like kind of like how uh, Garden Snake does. Like he goes down to a lake and gets stuck in mud and shit. Although, huh, let me be honest with you. My thumb days, we have not had trouble finding fucking mud. Yeah, how are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are doing better than I am. Fuck. I mean, I guess not all days can be good days, I guess. Not all days could be good days. And also you have to learn to appreciate the shitty days to fucking truly enjoy the good ones. I don't know what the fuck's been going on lately, man. There's been a lot of negative shit going on. I'm just trying to rise above it right now. Bought a bunch of fish from the fish store yesterday and every single one of them died besides for one. Like, what the fuck? I don't know why everything's been shitty lately. You know, who knows? Maybe in this video I'll fucking wreck. Don't put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. I might need to just fucking uh, have some beers and just chill the fuck out one day. Chilling in the patio and drinking some beers. I think I'm gonna retire B-cam for a little bit, guys. Like, I haven't made a, B a B cam video in over a couple weeks now. And, like, you know, I know basically the sentiment is, like, nobody's really missing it. And it's like, I'd like to add some depth into the channel. Um, but at the same point, it's just, it's so much editing work. And if nobody misses it, I might just say fuck it. Because, like, right now, like, without B cam, I have two videos that I've already made this week. And this is going to be my third, which needs to be edited and put up tomorrow. So I can make so much more content without having to do over double the work. Reintroduce B-Cam when I get like Pro Tools or something like that. Cause like, when I put B-Cam in iMovie, like unsyncs itself a lot. It's a big pain in the ass to do synchronized cuts. And like they always get like off of each other and shit, dude. It's so annoying. iMovie will just, depending on what day you do a particular action, iMovie does a different outcome. <laughs> I think we might have to ride by the uh, the official Hell's Angel bar up here. Go see what the Harley Bros are doing. What's up, Harley Bros? They're probably sitting back drinking beer and waiting to ride home drunk. That's probably what they're doing. Oh, well, I don't really care. I don't really care. If they want to get better out of shape about it, they can get better out of shape about it. This really isn't. This isn't a Harley channel. This is absolutely a fucking a Ducati channel, and even more so a Ducati Pentagala channel. So. If I piss off some Harley bros, I piss off some Harley bros. Not my prime demographic. Let me know if you ride a Harley down below. Seriously, I wanna know what percentage of people are riding Harleys here and if I need to shut my mouth. 
I love riding in the country. This is my favorite place to ride, just out here in the country. Open fields, dude. A lot less cars. I love it. Love it. Can't get enough of it. I think that's it. That, that's it right there. That's the local Hells Angels Harley bar. There's nobody there. I guess because it's Wednesday. It's a little bit early. It's a little bit early, too, on Wednesday. There's another Harley bar up here, though, too. Things are on the up and up, though. You got to fucking look on the positive side of things. Things are on the up and up. I have nothing to back that up. But you have to believe that things are getting better. Oh, that's a hole. Fuck. Oh, man. I'm glad I was going fast enough to kind of scooch over that hole, man. That was a big hole. Like, I don't know what's up with it, but, like, my, like, vision has been, like, all sorts of blurry lately. Nasty-ass fucking pollen that's in the air or what? See, I want to come here with the WR. They go trudge through the woods a little bit. I brought you guys here more than a few times. Coming from Cleveland and everything, dude, I miss Lake Erie so much. Oh, it's so nice. I'm gonna throw myself off, I swear. It's like only like 15 feet. Oh man, you got bugs all over you, girl. Oh man, this is summertime, guys. This is summertime and be on the lake. Perfect weather. Ducati Penangali. My number one. I know I like the WR and I talk about the WR a lot, but this is still my number one. sexy sounded so I've been thinking more and more about taking this bike because we don't have like road tracks around where I live but I've been thinking more and more about taking this bike to like a like a quarter mile track like a drag strip riding with Tom used to take his bike to a drag strip you know basically every bike that he had he took to a drag strip at one time or another and it was really good I think he's like learned how to launch it real well and you know you can learn a lot from it blind turn you know, you can learn a lot from it, but at the same point, it's it's not as cool as a road track. But you, you're much less likely to break down and, and fucking wreck and all sorts of shit, though, too. So, I don't know. So I'm, I'm just throwing it out there. I'm thinking about it. I'm actually starting to, to look at houses. I need to fucking get my own place, man. It really does need to happen. But I'm looking for fucking houses right now. I want to get a house, and I, I need a garage. I would love to have a garage with like at least three bikes in it. I would love to have my own little like little workout area, like a little gym. You don't really need much. Like if you're talking about like lifting and shit like that, all you really need is a squat cage, dude. You can do everything you fucking ever want with it. But I need to start building some equity and stuff. For some reason, the girl just wants to go straight from like, you know, nothing like rentership, like how we are now, all the way to building a house and like, you know, having like a lot of land and shit, which is cool. I want to have a lot of land one day too, but at the same point, it makes sense to get a starter house. A starter house could be whatever you want it to be. And literally like when you're done and you want to move into something else, you can just rent it out. And you can have somebody else paying your mortgage, building your equity, and also like, you know, making a little bit extra money from time to time, dude. It's so worth it. I don't know, she doesn't want to do it, so. I don't think we're going to do it. I think we're just going to go straight to land in a house. It means we'll never have a renter house, which means I'll never be a landlord. But I don't know. Sometimes when, you, when you're when you with somebody else, you just got to, I guess you just, you make compromises. I guess this is just another instance of making compromise. I done so much shit today, man. I ran almost three miles today. Took my dog everywhere today. Cleaned out my fish tank. Got a couple of new fish. Dude, I've done so much shit today. And now I get to end the day with a ride. It's all about that positivity, guys. You just gotta be positive. Even if you gotta force yourself. All right, guys, I think I'm gonna turn off the camera, turn off the music and enjoy this ride a little bit more. Thank you for following me around. Thank you for watching this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next video. Deuces.